uptown Starbucks still closed as Chicago police search for the person who shot p three people inside and killed one man. A 12 year old boy is among the injured shot in his groin. CBS 2 Susanna Song is live along Broadway and Lawrence with an update for us. Hi Susanna. Good morning. You know, we just learned that the 12 year old boy was an innocent bystander. He was just doing homework when he was shot in the groin. The good news is that he has been upgraded to good condition. Now, at this hour, Chicago police are reviewing surveillance video from inside Starbucks. The doors remain locked as workers clean up the mess from last night's shooting. The shooting was not a random act. It appears to be a drug deal gone bad. Police say the gunman and the murder victim, 28 year old Savage. Yon Watkins first met two blocks away here at Wilson and Broadway. There was a drug transaction there around 8:15 last night. The shooter, shooter chased Watkins, following him inside the Starbucks at Broadway and Lawrence. You can see between the two points, there's a lot of construction blocking the sidewalk. The gunman opened fire inside, killing Watkins and striking a 24-year-old man in the abdomen, and again the 12-year-old boy. Police say Watkins and the 24 year old knew each other. Both were involved in the drug deal. Witnesses describe seeing a man with a ski mask run away. I'm not scared. Uh, I don't think you can be scared. Stuff like this happens all over. I mean, I go into that Starbucks probably twice a day. So I'm not going to lie, that was a little bit of a shocker because I think I actually was in there twice yesterday. Um, but I'll still go in. I mean, I was going to go in today. Obviously, they're not open. Alderman James Kappelman, whose office is just a block away from here, called this shooting senseless violence. Now, police say a weapon and drugs were found on Watkins, and both he and the 24 year old shooting victim are documented gang members. Reporting live in Uptown, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Marissa and Mike. All right, Susanna, thank you.